it's really great to see everybody on this beautiful, beautiful day in Washington, D.C. Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. She's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. In a tweet this weekend, Mr. President, you said that it's incorrect to say you're limiting the scope of the FBI investigation. What does that have to do with trade? I don't mind answering the question, but, you know, I, I'd like to do the trade question. It has questions. to do with the other headline in the news, which is the Kavanaugh I know, but, I know, but how about talking about trade, and then we'll get to that. We'll do that later. Do you think the trade, Anybody have a trade? Do you Go think ahead, your trade please. deal will pass through Congress, sir? Uh, I think so, but, you know, if it doesn't, we have lots of other alternatives. But I do think so. I think if they're fair, which is a big question, but if it's fair on both sides, the Republicans love it. Uh, industry loves it. Our country loves it. Uh, if it's fair, it will pass. I think it'll pass easily, really easily, because it's a great deal. Okay, let's go. Come on. You want to, I guess, get off trade. I don't know. You, people you. are falling asleep with trade. I think it's, the, to me, it's the most exciting thing you can talk about, right, Joni? Right? All right, let's go. Come on. Thank you, Mr. President. In a tweet this weekend, you said it's incorrect to say that you're limiting the scope of the FBI investigation into Judge Kavanaugh. But your own statement on Friday made it very clear. You said this investigation must be limited in scope. So which is it? Well, no, is I didn't say anything on Friday. What I said is, let the Senate decide whatever they want to do is okay with me. And also the FBI. I think the FBI should do what they have to do to get to the answer. At the same time, just so we all understand, this is our seventh investigation of a man who has really you know, you look at his life until this happened. What a what a change he's gone through. What his family's gone through. The trauma for a man that's never had any accusation, any he's never had a bad statement about him. He's led I mean, I think he was number one in his class at Yale. He was number one in his law school at Yale. And then what he's gone through over the last three weeks is incredible. So uh I want the FBI, this is now their seventh investigation. So it's not like they're, you know, just starting. Uh, I want them to do a very comprehensive uh, investigation, whatever that means according to the senators and the Republicans and the Republican majority. I want them to do that.